I said in the past that college admissions is a process. It's not an event. It's a process. And so what does that mean? I would say that there are five stages in the college admissions journey. So the first one is called self-discovery. My approach to college admissions is being self-centered. Every student is different. So you, you just like if you have more than one child, you could see that each student is different. They tick differently. They have different interests. So let's start there. Uh, first is to figure out uh, their personality um, and figuring out what are their strengths and their weaknesses. What are their interests, potential majors? Um, maybe exploring the different majors within uh, a universe, the University of California uh, is a good way to explore potential areas of study. Self-discovery can also mean um, All right, start again, sorry. I've said in the past that college admissions is a journey. It's not an event, it's a journey. So what does that mean? It means that there are many stages that every student is going to go through. So let me tell you about these five steps. The first one is called self-discovery. I think that with every uh, student, they have their own, um, Every student has their own strengths and weaknesses, their own personality, and that's where you have to start first, trying to figure out what, uh, you know, what you might be interested in majoring in uh, is the first step, right? It's being real about your academic strength, your social, you know, your extracurricular life, all of those requirements are part of the first step, knowing thyself, that's self-discovery. From there, the next step is college exploration. College exploration is about research, right? Because there are 4,000 schools in the United States. That's a lot. We have public schools, private schools. We have community colleges. We have state schools in California, like the CSUs, the UCs. We have out-of-state schools. Um, and then the private schools. They are of a whole range in terms of academic strength, as well as, you know, um, what they offer from uh, the perspective of athletics or, you know, demographics. Uh, and so exploring the pros and cons of every school, their academic and social environments, as well as the uh, financial cost of attendance, that is what I consider college exploration. My, my philosophy regarding exploring schools is to take it from, you know, to approach it with an open heart and open mind. A lot of students, a lot of families, parents especially, they're thinking, oh, you know, you should, you, you know, you, you aim for the Ivies or like, you know, the, the Berkeley, the UCLA, the, the most, you know, um, you know, aspirational of schools. And while that's, you know, wonderful and dreams are great, you also want to keep it real and make sure that you have a, a, a robust college list that is suitable and, you know, appropriate for the student. Mm, when you're building the list, you want to mm, have a, um, opportunity to visit schools. Uh, right now, I, you know, college visits is really important because nothing is as, as you know, eye-opening and, you know, nothing beats the experience of checking out a university. Uh, this 
in this pandemic, it's really difficult. So uh, you want to check out virtual tours and you'd be surprised to see how many schools are uh, using social media as well as websites like Campus Real to help students and families get a better feel for what uh, their campuses and their universities offer. Um, in the beginning, you know, you may have lots and lots of schools and you're exploring and you're reading and gathering information and, but then at a certain point, you have to get into the third phase, which is called focus, right? Because you want to narrow down this larger list, let's say from 40 to about, mm, about a dozen, maybe, it depends. It, there is no magic number for the number of schools that a student should apply to. But as a baseline, as a starting point, I like to say the UCs, the CSUs, one tag school, maybe, and six. And when I say six, that could be a combination of out-of-state schools and private schools. From there, you just keep, keep you know, managing that list, figuring out, you have to look at what your requirements are, right? Remember, we had the academic, social, and financial fit requirements and compare that with, um, you know, a, a formula to that so that you can focus on building and tightening up your list. Your focus can also be on identifying early action or early decision schools. There's so many pros and cons to that, right? So, uh, but that is all about focus. The fourth stage is called application. The application stage is all about putting it all together, right? The applications for the UCs are due on November 30th, as well as the CSUs. Um, the early action and early decision uh, schools may be a little bit earlier than that, and there are all the regular decisions that are after that. But um, the fall of the senior year is when the application season is. So, um, and, and you can imagine it is a lot to manage. We have uh, essays at that time as well. Mm, the, the four UCs, UC personal insight questions, as well as any supplements. Just managing all of that is, you know, does require a lot of um, coordination. So that is something that I help students with spreadsheets so that they can keep track and, and make sure that they uh, are on top of everything. The fifth stage, often forgotten, is evaluation. What do I mean by evaluation? It means sometime be from, say, November till April is when you're getting all of the decisions from the schools, right? You may be getting accepted or uh, denied or waitlisted, and you will also get the financial aid results. So sometimes a student may not get admitted to any of their reach schools, and they may get admitted to some of their target schools, and maybe they are getting uh financial aid from some of their likely schools so which one do you pick well that's that's a question that's um you know it does require some thought because the at the end of the day your decision has to be based on a balance of of academic social and financial fit criteria um, so there you have it, right? Those are the five stages in the college admissions journey. Self-discovery, college exploration, focus, application, and finally evaluation. I hope that helps. Uh, if uh, this is helpful to you, I hope you can uh, listen to my college knowledge webinars where I go over different topics uh, that can take you from step to step, uh, step by step. Um, my website is planeteducation.com and hope to see you there. Bye-bye.